Let's talk modern rare books, specifically strategies for investing in modern rare books so that you can make money in the future. Investing in rare books is all about playing the best long game because it takes a lot of time for some of these books to appreciate. When you're talking about modern rare books, how does a modern book that's still maybe in production become rare? Well, you gotta find one that's a signed copy, specifically a signed first edition, first printing, preferably with no attributions, just the author's signature. These are the ones that are going to appreciate perhaps the most because they'll have the largest audience in the future. Now, keeping that in mind, what book is going to have the largest audience in the future? Because that's the one that you want to buy now. It's the ones that are going to be made into movies, in my opinion, sometime in the future. Because then, not only do you have the audience that enjoys reading the book, you have the audience that's been introduced to the story through the movie. So what I like to do is I like to buy first edition signed copies of books that are planned to be made into movies within the next couple of years. Here's some examples that I have of modern rare books. What I mean are modern books that are signed first editions. And the reason that I've decided to collect these is because they will be made into movies within the next couple years, 2022, 23, and even 2024. This one here, Wool, self-published book originally. It came out as a first edition in a paperback, which is kind of unique, a signed copy there. Other examples here are Rick Riordan's Red Pyramid, as well as Scythe. So you're speculating a little bit on a signed first edition, a rare modern edition of a book with the anticipation that it could become more popular in the not so far future. Think about what happened with Harry Potter and trying to recapture that where it became wildly popular once the movies came out. Um, and then of course the first editions of that book, specifically signed ones, became worth a lot more. That's my strategy for collecting rare first editions. Hope that's helpful. Good luck, happy book hunting and happy reading.